how do you work with recurring unwanted tasks that I end up routinely ignoring every time? So some of them are short, like 15 minutes. How do you force yourself to get them done? Okay, I've got a lot of ideas here. So there's not just one. One is I have a series of tasks that I need to take weekly and monthly. I call it adulting tasks. It's a bunch of things that I have a ton of resistance to do, but still need to get done regularly. I actually have my virtual assistant three o'clock every Thursday. We just open that list and she just goes point by point and says, what about this, Demir? What about this? What about this? So I'm literally paying somebody to be my accountability buddy to force me because she can't do these tasks. Like these are tasks that I have failed to figure out how to outsource. These are tasks that I must do. And I call it my like adulting accountability session. That is literally the title of it's my adulting accountability session. And because it's on the calendar, and because I know she's going to be there and I'm paying for her to be there, I sort of grudgingly go like, uh, but I secretly feel a little good about it because I also know that in that one hour we're going to do, we're going to just like do it all. We have this like 50 point checklist that we go through and we just check up on a bunch of things. And then I feel so much better after it's all done. So it's a bit of a ripping off the bandaid session. So that's idea number one. Idea number two is, uh, let me see this, unwanted tasks, routinely ignoring time. Some of them are just 15 minutes. Yeah, so consolidation is your friend here. What do I mean by that? When you take similar types of tasks and you find the right period of consolidation, they can actually become easy. Example, I don't randomly do household chores around the house. Carrie and I have a shared list. And by the way, if you didn't know, on your iPhone, you can share a note with another collaborator. So we collaborate on a note where Carrie, when there's a light bulb that's broken or there's something that needs to be fixed, she'll add it to the note. I have a half day scheduled every single month on a Saturday. That's like my, you know, honeydew list, you know, half day chore session. And what I do is I've just got this stack of things that frankly, if they were happening here or there, would just I'd have so much avoidance. I'd be like, oh, I just don't want to, even though it only takes 15 minutes, I got to get into my toolbox and I got to pull out the whole toolbox. So what I do during this chore session is I play my 80s music. I've got this whole list of things I do. And there's just a relief in knowing that it's like, yeah, it's a bunch of annoying things, but it's consolidated so well. So Carrie takes the kids to the club. I'm all alone. I blast my 80s music. Nobody distracts me. And weirdly, somehow all of these small things that I would kill myself to avoid once consolidated in the right way and put into a place where I can actually get them done effectively, I don't have avoidance to actually enjoy those sessions. So finding the right level of consolidation can be really meaningful. Could you bring accountability to that to juice it up? Yes, you could. Could you bring a little bit of fun and reward to that to juice it up? Yes, you could. And both would be a really good idea.